sound effects anyway got two joints to talk about man let's get into it y'all know what it is it's your boy court just another fragrance review we should be sprinkling across the screen as we speak before we get into the business let's hop into the business follow me on my face at court mc on instagram and um twitter couldn't think of that all of a sudden the real j-a-f-r on tiktok again not good with tiktok i really don't get the point of it but y'all got any tips tricks hacks ideals to uh, make it you know a better experience for our crew let your boy know anyway like i said um my name is court if you're here for the first time um it's kind of in the title we review fragrances here but we also talk about how to buy what to buy what not to buy what not to pay Wash your ass, brush your teeth because it's a full package, baby. If you're here for the first time, welcome. If you don't mind doing your boy a favor, you see that button down there? It is probably red. Go ahead and turn it gray. Hit it. Hit the bell so you know when I post videos like this. So, yeah, we got two new fragrances in the collection. The Tux by Mason Alhambra and uh, Cedrat, Cedrat, my bad, Boise, Boise, Boys, whatever you want to say, by Mancera. So, we're going to talk about these two joints. Let's get into it. We'll start with this one first. So the Lux, like I said, by Mason Alhambra, which is, I believe, just Latafa. Yeah, so another joint from Latafa. We all know what Latafa does. They clone fragrances, famous fragrances, your favorite fragrances, expensive fragrances. And this is another one. The Tux is supposed to be a clone or inspired by uh, YSL's tuxedo and as you can see by the presentation if you've ever seen it it kind of looks like it um you got the box it's just your regular cardboard box pops off like this and the fragrance is housed in this little thing right here fancy dancy um <clears throat> as you can see the presentation is just like tuxedo um basically your basic cap ain't nothing really special about it doesn't snap into place or nothing like that you got your basic atomizer there to spray if you saw that i just got that all on my phone so decent atomizer decent sprayer etc etc let's talk about the juice man um like i said this this is supposed to be a their take or a clone of uh tuxedo which i don't actually have in my collection tuxedo is super hard to find um it's super hard to get your, your hands on and i just hadn't been able to do it yet so i can't tell you if it's a uh, tuxedo or not. But what I can tell you is what I do think it smells like, but let's get into the notes first. So you got patchouli, spicy notes, amber, vanilla, and some floral notes in this joint. Uh, to me, this joint reminds me of ombre leather. And if I was smart, I would have grabbed my bottle of ombre leather out so I could pull it up too. But anyway, basically that's what it reminds me of. Though on Frangantica, there's no note or leather note listed. I get leather on the dry down. I get leather on the dry down and I get some booziness too, like a rum feel to it. Rum, like, you know, rum and coke, rum punch, that type of rum. Uh, so I don't know, maybe, you know, just on Frangantica, we just don't have all the notes, which is a possibility, but there's definitely some leather in it. I'm wearing it today. It's my scent of the day, leather and that booziness on the top. Like I said, it smells like rum. I drunk a lot of rum in my life, so I know what rum smells like. So uh, anyway, this joint, not not expensive at all. I think I spent less than 40 bucks to get it. Now I had to wait to get it because it's picked up in popularity. Everybody's talking about it in Fradcom. So of course I wasn't able to buy it, you know, a few months back. So I just put my name on the list on Fragrance by CA, which I got it from. Um, they shipped it out, actually took a little while longer than it normally did, which leads me to believe that maybe they didn't have as much in stock as they thought they did. Had to wait to get some more in stock, but I'm cool with that. Got this joint in the mail. Definitely glad I got it in my collection. Kind of redundant because I got ombre leather, but you know, it's, it's a little bit different. Like it's a little bit more boozier than ombre leather is to me. Uh, and, uh, less, and less leathery, if that makes sense. Definitely recommend. Uh, definitely one of those joints that you can pull off in the uh, cooler weather uh, months. Uh, for me, I'll wear it whenever, whenever, however. But if you want to put an occasion on it, so date night, late night, formal type stuff, it makes you feel good. Makes you feel expensive. Put you put a nice sweater on, a nice button up, or something like that, man. 
go out with your lady or, or, or ladies, you know, with your fellas. Or, you know, never mind. Uh, go out with your significant other. Have a good time. But definitely recommend getting this joint. Definitely recommend uh, trying to find a decant of uh, tuxedo so you can compare the two. Like I'm going to. But um, like I said, for eighth of the price right here, baby. The Tux by Mason or Mason Alhambra, a.k.a. the top one. Um, next one is uh, one that was definitely getting a lot of hype a few years ago. And the reason why is because it's supposedly a uh, clone or a variation of their take of uh, Creed's of Venice, which I definitely get. Uh, it is Mancera Sedgwick. Um, I always want to say uh, boys or Boise, but it's Boise. As, you know, people say it like that. You know, if you want to be fancy, Boise. If you don't want to be fancy, Boise. Uh, this joint is dope. Dope, dope, dope. I got it Thursday, or I got it Wednesday. I think I wore it Thursday as my sin of the day. Definitely get why they compare it to Aventus. Definitely on the dry down. Uh, you get that dark smokiness on the dry down and that fruity blast in the uh, beginning, but it does something a little different. Uh, in the mid for me. Uh, let's look at the presentation. So this is the box. This is your box. Uh, but inside the box, it actually comes in this little, little handy dandy carrying case. Like if you just wanted to carry it around for whatever reason, it's up to you. But it's a little bag. Open the joint up. Mm. If you can get it out, this is your bottle. Nice sleek bottle. Got. It. Mancera and the name of the fragrance on the front and the concentration. It is a magnetic cap. So bam. I had to get better at opening and taking out caps. Anyway, it is your uh, atomizer. Really good atomizer. Really, really good atomizer, which I really didn't expect anything less from the brand. This is actually my first full uh, presentation from Mancera. I think I have a few uh, of the decants in my closet, maybe. Not 100 percent sure. Anyway, let's get to the notes. So it has uh Sicilian lemon, some black currant, bergamot, uh fruity notes, patchouli, uh water jasmine, jasmine that grows in the water, uh leather, sandalwood, white white musk, and some other notes in it too. Should be popping up on the screen there. I definitely get why it's compared to Aventus. Kind of reminds me of more of a high quality version of Club de Nuit, uh intense. Like it doesn't have that obnoxious, like first, you know what I'm saying, initial spray until, you know, uh, Club de, Club de Nuit settles down. Um, definitely not cheap. Uh, I think it retails for close to 200 bucks, but I got mine on sale. And I tell you all the time, sign up for those text message alerts, sign up for those emails, because I did that with Max Aroma. They were having a 50% off sale, and I could not turn it down. Went on ahead and ordered that joint last week, and I paid half the price of it. I think I, I spent around 90 so under 100 bucks. So definitely worth uh, checking out. If not, get yourself uh, a decan so you can decide if you want to go ahead and spend the money to pick this joint up. Definitely don't pay retail. Like I said, sign up for those alerts, man. You know what I'm saying? Get on the get on the alerts. Um, and that's uh, Mancera, Sedgwick. Um... Boise, Boise, whatever. Uh, <clears throat> yo, before I go, I wanted to talk to y'all about a few things. I'm definitely going to uh, try some new stuff with the uh, channel. So in the next couple of days or coming weeks, I'll see some, some different posts, like some different shorts, different types of shorts. I'm just trying to uh, increase engagement on the channel, trying to get to that 500 uh, subscriber mark so we can get to our next giveaway and then eventually to 1,000 and beyond. I definitely appreciate every, appreciate every single one of you that are here with me right now. Without you, I would be nothing. Our community would be nothing. Uh, I need y'all as much as y'all need me, I guess. Sounds weird. But um, it's, our, it's our community, man. Like, I, I learn from y'all. Y'all learn from me. It's one of those give and take type situations. I'm in no way, shape, or form an expert in this thing. I learn just like y'all learn, and we're teaching each other, man. Um, but like I said, you'll see some different stuff coming in the weeks, uh, in the next coming weeks, next coming days. Let me know what you think about it, if you like it, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, that's it, man. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your peoples. 
Don't you dare. Let your people be funky. That's Bill Cosby. Come on. Uh, anyway, uh, don't let your people be funky when you can send them to your boy. I love each and every single one of y'all. If I can find this remote, maybe it'll work. Until the next time, y'all be easy. Peace. Never works on the first one.